In last week's tech tip, we discussed the basics of how GNSS works. Now, if you missed it, we'll put the link for it up top. Now that we know how uncorrected GNSS works, let's look at the different corrections available and the benefits and drawbacks of each. First off is SBAS, or Satellite Based Augmentation System. This type of correction is delivered by satellite to your receiver. Now, the main system in North America is a system called WAS. WAS stands for Wide Area Augmentation System and consists of ground observation sites that monitor the GPS constellation, keeping track of errors. It then sends these error computations back up to a set of satellites that then broadcast them down to WAS-enabled GNSS receivers. This gets us down to an accuracy of 1 to 2 meters, which is good enough for our phones to find a restaurant or an aircraft on approach to a runway, but it's not good enough for most forensic mapping. Likewise, another type of satellite delivered corrections is Trimble's RTX service. Providing centimeter level accuracy and the ultimate ease of use, it's far more accurate than WAS and provides the accuracy required for forensic mapping with nothing more than your receiver facing the sky. This system works somewhat like WAS, consisting of a network of highly accurately surveyed receivers feeding data to a server that computes the corrections necessary based on your position on the Earth. Then, these corrections are sent down from satellites to your GNSS receiver. The big advantage to Trimble's RTX is that you can get an autonomous fix, you can also receive RTX corrections. No other hardware or connections are required. The next type of correction is NTRIP, which stands for Network Transport of RTCM via Internet Protocol. The translation for this is Internet Delivered Corrections, typically over cellular connection. The way it works is a series of base stations in your area are monitoring the overhead satellite constellations and feeding that data back to centralized servers. These servers compute the data received from the network of base stations and compute an atmospheric model as well as other data. Now, when you go out into the field, your GNSS receiver talks to the data collection software, such as Trimble Forensics Capture. Capture uses an internet connection to dial back to the NTRIP servers and get the corrections. Now, this is most often a cellular connection using a hotspot or SIM card in your data collector. The limitations to this is that you're reliant upon cellular data signal. No bars, no corrections. However, if you're in an area with reliable cellular coverage and there's an NTRIP provider for that area, you're in business. This type of correction can be up and running very fast, so long as you have cellular data. The last correction type is called RTK, or commonly expressed as base rover configuration. Now, this correction type requires you to set up a second GNSS receiver in the vicinity of your scene. Then, together, the two GNSS receivers are able to cancel out the orbit, clock, and atmospheric errors to give you a sub-centimeter level of accuracy. Now, the positive aspect to this type of correction is that you're not dependent on any cellular data or any type of subscription service. However, there is added cost in purchasing a second receiver to act as a base while you use the first receiver as a rover to map your scene. You can easily purchase two Trimble R4s and use them by themselves with NTRIP, but if cell service is unavailable, you can bring them together and operate as an RTK pair. The Trimble Forensics Capture software is capable of utilizing any one of these GNSS corrections. Just use the one that fits your needs the best. If you found this video to be helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips. I'll see you all again soon. Stay safe.